Quadris, 12 light years across the galaxy from Earth. It was home for us until an intergalactic armada conquered it. I fought by the royal family's side, but in vain. Even their remarkable powers weren't enough. The Crown Prince and I escaped to the nearest planet on which we could survive and further his powers in order to someday return to free his people. Here on Earth, the prince is known as Matthew Starr. He's a typical American teenager. He has friends, people who love him, and me, his guardian. I'm the only one who knows how special he is. Life for us is a series of joys and dangers for enemy assassins constantly come to destroy us. Alone, we must survive. Holding up pretty good for someone who spends most of his time in a classroom. Well, I did a little climbing back where I come from. Back east. You know, one of these days I'm gonna figure you out. Thought I saw something flashing up on the side of the mountain there. Probably the bones from the last survival class. If you hate it so bad out here, why'd you come? Oh, come on, the last one was worse. Yeah, but my muscles aren't getting any stronger as the day goes on. Just keep it up. You're doing terrific. Anne? I sure I'm glad you came along. They'd be after us all week. I don't need any help. I see the wimp finally caught up. Can it, Ted? Fletcher's doing OK. One of us winds up depending on him for our survival. Oh, but you and not me. Survival is teamwork. Each one depends upon the other. You should see the mountains on Quadris. They're truly magnificent. And in the springtime, they're in a world all into themselves. Was my father a good climber? Well, let's uh, just say he loved the mountains. <laughs>
Fletcher, you and Pam next. Pure poetry. Leave him alone, Matthew. Let him do it by himself. It won't be worth anything to himself or anybody else. Let him find his own strength. Yeah, well, uh, I just hope he doesn't get hurt in the process. Not just physically. Come on, Fletcher. Dig in. Come on, keep coming. Come on. Say you're uh, doing fine. Just keep coming. Uh, That's it. Ow! My foot! Pam! Okay? No. Come on, go ahead. I'm right behind you. It's just a sprain. But you'll be okay. Now, you're gonna have to baby it a little. Well, we've got about an hour to make it to the camp. I'll make it. I'll help her. So will I. Okay, let's go. The darker it gets, the tougher it gets. I'll grab your pack, Pam. Here, let me help you. Thanks. They don't make inflatable tents. You mean like rubber rafts? Yeah. I mean, why not make roughing it as easy as being at home? You know, we should have brought a portable TV. I mean, there's nothing to do up here. There's plenty. You just have to know where to look for it. You'll make it. You know, there's a trick to that. I'm sure there is. But I'd like to do this myself. All right, if you need a hand, just say so. I said I'd get it right, and I will. I'll know I'll have an easier time with the shack. You will? Sure, simple concepts. Although a fundamental A-frame might present deeper complexities than simply utilizing a sunken floor mode. Yeah, right, of course. Got up here kind of late in the day, didn't you? You the, uh, Crestridge group? Yeah, that's right. My name's Curtis. How you doing? Ranger Campbell. Real good, thanks. If you uh, got here for dinner, you're a little early. We just got it started. Yeah. No, the service just wants me to warn all campers. Mountain lion attacked a rock climber around here just the other day, so we're just telling everybody to look over their shoulders. Are you uh, doing anything up here besides camping? Yeah, we filed a permit to build a survival shack. Yeah, Ann's boyfriend died up here last year from exposure. Uh, we're building the shack to make sure nothing like that happens in the future. Well. I don't want to upset you folks. I want you to enjoy the forest and all. Excuse me, Mr. Uh, Campbell. Why don't you just tell us what's on your mind? Well, about eight months ago, two men escaped from the facility for the criminally insane about 10 miles from here. Yeah, I heard about that on the news. They never caught those guys, did they? That's right. Now, I really don't think that they're even in the state, much less around here. But by the off chance that they might be, there'd be a lot more trouble than a mountain lion. We understand. You know, you might think about it with all these kids here. You're a long ways from help, radio or not. Yeah, we'll keep it in mind. Well, good night. Good night. And like I say, you probably won't have any trouble at all. So you have a good stay. Charming. Maybe that's why he lives here. Coach, Mr. Shepard. What are we going to do about that mountain lion he mentioned? 
The mountain lion wants to meet you about as much as you want to meet it. So don't sweat it. Well, then what about those guys? What if they're still around? That means they'd have to survive out here for eight months. I'm pretty sure they're long gone. I mean, wouldn't you be, Lisa? Well, you could tell that ranger was really worried. But that's his job, to tell us about the situation. I mean, in a group this size, I'm sure we're all going to be very safe. Well, safe or not, my body says I've got to sleep before I walk. What's the matter, Fletch? Worried about zombies? No. Actually, I was thinking about dehydration and muscle fatigue. Not to mention sleep deprivation and inhibited respiration in an elevated altitude. Incidentally, there's no compelling evidence to support the existence of zombies, even though some primitive minds don't accept that. Yeah, well, uh, I'd be ready to walk out of here right now if we had to. I don't think we have to worry about mountain lions or crazies. All right, listen up. We're all exhausted. Let's just relax and try and enjoy ourselves up here, okay, gang? We'll just be a bit more careful. I guess you're right. I mean, if you say it's safe, it's safe. Ted, it is nice and quiet up here. Maybe we could go for a walk? A walk? What the hell for? I'm tired, I'm hungry, my feet are sore. Hey, Lisa! caught in a snare. I'm a person, that's an animal. Had to be said a long time ago, this rope is pretty old. I think. I still don't think those guys could last up here for eight months. You expect me to stake my life on that? If there was someone, they'd have to count on someone to walk in on the snare. Brilliant wimp. All this damage in so short a time. You're all guessing. What we have to do is radio the ranger and keep a constant watch all night. Walt, we can take turns spelling each other. Right. Wait a minute. This could have been anything. Uh, an animal. Maybe that lion. I remember one time that Bobby and I were up in the Sierras, and we went fishing, and we came back, and some bear had ripped up our camp. Coach, I don't think we're going to be able to call anybody on this. It's ruined. You mean we can't call out of here? Lisa, relax. Nothing's going to happen as long as we stay on guard. Hey, hey, look. Look, we know that the rope is old. There are plenty of animals in this forest. It's nothing. Hey, come on, you guys. We're going to be fine. We're all going to be fine. It's just our imagination that's scaring us. Look, I'm, uh... I'm sorry I acted so weird. I, uh, I 
Guess I haven't been thinking about your feelings. Guess I was the last one to get the hint. But I'm not putting you in that position anymore. Yeah, well, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. You said it. Thank you. There seems to be two choices. Either we can pack it up in the morning and walk back out, or we can hang in there and assume that whoever or whatever has been bothering us is going to leave us alone from here on out. It's up to the group. Well, I don't like what's been happening. I'm ready to walk out now, sore feet or not. I'm beyond scared. I'm just real concerned for all of us. I think we should stay and build that shack like we planned. Look, we came all this way. Let's have something to show for it. Consider the following. We're just as vulnerable while we hike out. This forest goes on for miles. We might as well be here, if you ask me. We didn't. Cut it out, Ted. Look, I think we ought to do what we came here to do. So count me in. It's a survival class, right? We don't need the radio to survive. We're here. I say we go for it all the way. Now let's have a show of hands. How many in favor of staying and building the shack as planned? <laughs> Sorry, Lisa. Well, I took the glass, right? I'm here. So I guess that means I'm here. All right. All right. <laughs> Okay, now let's move all the tents close together. Good idea. As close to the fire as possible, if that's okay. And those of you who have finished, help the others, okay? Yeah, let's keep the fire in the center, huh? And somebody stands guard all night, just like we said. Well, Curtis, looks like there's some kids here who just might pass this course. <laughs> hey, let's get back to the hot dogs. shovels, dig a foundation. The rest, come with us. We'll start cleaning some trees. Let's go. Another one, watch your face. There's another one. Ready? we're expected to do, but I've about had it up to here. Come on, Lisa, it won't take that long. Obviously, we don't share the same concept of time. Lisa, why don't you just try rolling with it? <laughs> Lisa, don't beat yourself up over a little digging. Or over Ted, either. Can you believe me? Following a guy 50 miles into the mountains to finally realize it's over? is not a mark of the woman of the world. <laughs> well, you're here now. So you might as well enjoy the sun. Maybe you can come back with a tan. You know, Lisa, Anne's right. Why don't you just try turning this into a good experience? You guys are terrific. Thanks. You know, maybe I might have a better time if my feet didn't hurt so much. You know, there's a little pond right over there. I think it'll help my foot. I think it'll help everything. Let's go. Okay. You coming? I don't think so. Well, if it's okay, I'll just take my break here. We'll be back in a little while. I think one more ought to do it. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, wow, this is it. Oh, I need this. My feet are oh. so swollen and so sore. Oh, sore. 
because this water feels so good on my feet. This is great. Look, I'm sorry I've been acting so weird. You guys have been great. Hey, you know, we girls gotta stick together in this wilderness, right? Right. Mountain air agrees with me. Actually, the notion that fresh air causes us from a good appetite is true, isn't it, Lisa? Considering what we're reading, that's a good thing. Lisa, you're not hungry? Not right now. After that thing grabbed me in the lake. I don't know. Are you sure your foot just didn't slip off a rock into deeper water and you thought the force of that was something grabbing you? I was grabbed. Look, I know you think I'm all nuts and I'm a complainer, but I know I was grabbed out there. Don't anyone move. I start grabbing shovels. We're going to have a circle of fire around this place. Quick. Matthew, I'm proud of you. You show a great presence of mind. All I felt was a great presence of fear. <laughs> Mr. Shepard, Coach Curtis, I hit something. Come quick. Hospital. Those guys the ranger mentioned escaped from there. It's probably one of them. I guess the ranger wasn't completely wrong. Mr. Shepard? Yeah? The number of unusual incidents on this trip are beginning to exceed the range of chance. I'm not saying you're wrong, Fletcher. Shep, the lion, the snare, the two escaped guys, and now the skeleton all by chance? Come on, Fletcher's right. But who'd want to do all this? I mean, who'd want to stop us from building a shed? I don't think it has anything to do with the shed, Anne. It couldn't. Well, what are we going to do? Just hang around and wait for somebody to come back to help the lion polish us off? Hold it. Nobody's going to polish off anybody. First, we're going to finish the fire trench to keep the mountain lion away. We're going to stay calm. If we leave, we're sure not going to do it at night. Come on, everybody, let's finish digging. As in shovels? You and I are going to have to take turns keeping guard tonight. Well, I don't know about you, but I can be a real insomniac if I have to. Don't sleep too deeply tonight, Matthew. Don't worry.
Stay here and look after the girls. Good idea. Stay here and look after the girls. Please. Matthew, don't go in there. You're dealing with the killer. That's amazing. I never saw Melinda do that before. She doesn't usually like strangers. Uh, maybe she knows that I'm your friend. I guess you know why Jackie does these things. Because you're, you're not like all those other people that used to laugh at me. I could tell that the minute that she ran up to you. Why you do what things? You, you mean like coming into the camp and scaring the girl? Oh. You don't understand what I've done, Melinda. Maybe you're wrong. Maybe he isn't our friend. Oh, no, no, no. I'm your friend. Look, I do understand. I don't know. Look, look, look. Melinda trusts me. Why shouldn't you? Melinda's been wrong before. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> you all right, Matthew? Yeah, I'm fine. You can't trust anybody. You better not trust me. Don't try anything. You got it? Don't worry. It's not me. It's her. <laughs> You go, coach. I'm not the one, you know. I just do what I'm told, because I'm a good boy. Who tells you what to do? Linda. The lion. I think we better get him to someone who knows what to do with him. What about the ranger? Good idea. Can't be more than a half mile with that fire break he was checking. up, Walt. For all we know, he's not even in the area anymore. He isn't. How do you like being stuck with me out here? He said it'd be in the area at least two days. <laughs> you really think this rope will hold me? You want to take him back? We can take turns guarding him. You know, I once saw a man chop off all his toes. I helped him. I'm going to help kill you, too. I think we'll keep looking. <laughs> so, now what do we do? Nothing we can do except wait. Just hope that Chef and the coach find the ranger. And what if they can't? Oh, nothing serious. If we just get custody of a psychopathic killer in this mountain lion. Thanks. For what? You did all the work. 
You know, Matt's right, Fletch. You are really something else. Thanks. I've been hearing that all my life, but I never heard it that way. You really think you're gonna be able to fix that? Yeah. I think I can cannibalize the components from this radio to make ours work. Come on, Ted, get in the screwdriver. All yeah, right. Hey, uh, anything else? Any kind of wire, if you can find it. Anything, a coat hanger, anything. And a plier. And a coat, no ice. Fletch, would it distract you if I ask you something? Do this stuff while I watch TV. Well, I don't get it. Why do you push yourself so hard? Well, we had to get the radio back. Yeah, but you didn't have to get it back by yourself. I mean, you almost got yourself killed. I don't know. You know, I can't even figure out why you're here. You don't like any of this stuff, the outdoors camp and any of it. I never said that. You didn't have to. It doesn't take a genius to figure it out. I don't know. I... It's like you're trying to prove something. Well, what if I am? What does it matter to you? Don't you know who my father is? No, should I? Come on, don't put me on. Really, I don't, Fletch. My father is John Nash Clements. That name doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> well, allow me to illuminate you. Do you know how many times he has climbed Mount Everest? That doesn't matter, Fletch. You're not your father. Yeah, I know. Don't rub it in. That's not what I'm doing, and you know it. Look, Fletch. You have your own qualities. Things you're good at that make you special. They're every bit as important as going and climbing some mountain. Maybe. But if you'd like a little uh, approval in your life, it's not easy being a slide rule when your old man is a bulldozer. Do you hear that? Over there, come on. Glad to see you. Well, I spotted you from the ridge about an hour ago, but it took me a while to get down. Is there some trouble? This is one of the escaped inmates from the mental hospital. You know, they sure have been gone a long time. They'll be fine. Just wish we could contact the ranger. Because at least then he'd be on the lookout for him. Yeah, well, you can just forget that. He ain't ever gonna get that thing fixed. Come on, Ted, give him a chance. Part of survival is having faith in yourself and others. I don't know about this wire you found. It's the wrong impedance. Impedance? My father had that once. <laughs> well, here goes. We either blow the amp or... Mayday, Mayday. Please, anybody, respond. Over. Ranger Station. This is Crestridge Group. Please respond. Mayday, over. Crestridge Group, this is Gold Ridge Ranger Station. We read you. What do you need? Over. We have an emergency here. We've got to contact Ranger Campbell right away. Over. Can I have a repeat on that name, please? Campbell, Ranger Campbell, C-A-M-P-B-E-L-L, -L. Campbell, over. You must be mistaken, over. Let me have that Fletcher. What do you mean mistaken? We just talked to him yesterday, over. Impossible. Ranger Campbell disappeared in the backcountry over a year ago. We never found his body, over. I think we found him. The skull. Well, if that's Ranger Campbell, then the guy in the uniform must be the guy who killed him.
Excuse me. Are you sure this is the right way to the firewatch station? Sure it is. Just around the bend. Oh, this sure looks familiar. Well, happens to most people don't spend much time in the backcountry. Everything starts to look the same to them. That's how come they get lost. Don't feel bad, though. It's a common mistake. Shep, can you hear me? You're in a trap. The ranger's a killer. Come on, Shep, you gotta hear me. Hey, what the heck is going on? We've been walking in circles. Yeah, this, this is the same place that we caught this guy. I know. I want to check something out before we move on. You know, we've got a campground full of kids back there. We have Don't to worry about them. We'll take care of them for you. Untie my friend. I, I did good, huh? I did just what Melinda told me to do. I, I didn't say anything to give us away, did I? Yeah. But you didn't scare away those kids like I told you. Into the mine. Both of you. Come on! Shep, where are you? He said a lot of oxygen. You know, I haven't got a lot of that right now. Well, I'll show you a trick that make it look like we've got much more than. Hey, you all right? Hey, sit down. Sit down. Quick. Cross your legs. Now, don't breathe deeply. Just breathe slowly and evenly. Let your arms hang by the sides. Easy. Easy. Relax. That's easy. Don't breathe deep. Just slow. All right. You feel better? Yeah. Okay. Now you stay here. I'll be right back. Shep. Shep, where are you? Come on, Shep, answer. Matthew, go back to camp. The kids are in danger. Are you sure you're okay? I can't see you, only darkness. Where are you? We're trapped in a mine shaft, but I'm finding enough minerals to put together some blasting powder and get us out. Go back to the camp, Matthew. The others need you. Ranger 4. 
Four, do you read me? Over. Read you, Ranger Four. Go ahead. Over. We've dispatched a chopper to your area. Thought you'd want to know. Over. Thanks. When will he get here? Over. I had to pull it off Firewatch up north. It'll take him a while to get there. Over. Look! Look! Those are the killers! What are we gonna do? Come on, Fletch! Come on, I need your help! It's okay. Come on. Come on. Get down. That's okay. We just have a couple of loose ends to tie up here. No need, Matt. Took care of things. So, where's the coach and Mr. Shepard? I have a feeling they'll be showing up any minute now. Hey, Matt. Do you think 
that Fletch looked back on this trip as a good experience? I think he's sorry it's almost over. I'd say it's probably the first time in Fletcher's life he's ever really felt like a hero. You know, I think that everybody got something good out of this trip. I think the word you're looking for is blisters. Well, maybe. But I'm just glad that we're here together. Me too. <clears throat> I assume that uh, you two are carefully discussing the uh, architectural challenges of survival shacks, eh? Well, they'd never come down to the shade on a hot day just to relax when everyone else is hard at work. Well, maybe we just better head back up there and see if we can't give them a hand, huh? <laughs> Pop, huh? <laughs> It's been a great trip. Well, I think that uh, the caliber of kids has something to do with it. Hmm? <laughs>